Dragon Ball Super Broly was directed in 2018 by Tatsuya Nagamine, I believe that's how his name is pronounced, and stars Sean Schemmel, Chris Sabat, and Vic Magnolia, because I can't pronounce his last name, as Goku, Vegeta, and Broly in one of the best animated films of 2018 that I've ever seen. This film's animation is very top-notch. There's a few gripes I have that I'm going to address later, uh, which just regard the CGI, but we're not going to discuss that right now because it's not important. What is important is that Broly is now canon, as opposed to the final three movies that we saw back in the 90s or the 2000s, I don't remember the actual release dates in the US, we get to see Broly as an infant again, not crying for Goku, or because of Goku crying, I believe, and getting enraged, that was a weird plot in the first film. We get to see how King Vegeta is terrified of infant Broly's power, which I believe is 10,000, and he exiles him to planet Vampa, which is a mysterious planet far off in space somewhere. And Paragus, upon hearing about this, is infuriated, t uh, steals a Saiyan ship with an unknown Saiyan, I forgot who it really was, and go to planet Vampa to find Broly, and they just live there as exiles. And, uh, yeah. We all know the classic story of, of uh, Planet Vegeta, how everything was destroyed by Frieza, although they've uh, kind of retconned that into making Beerus uh, do it, which I don't really care for, but we're not here to talk about that. We get to see how Broly is now, like I said, he's made canon, which is fantastic because they can really improve upon his character. And improve they have to making him a bit of a sympathetic character at most because when we see him as an adult, he has a shock collar around him. His father Paragus obviously tortures him with it whenever he gets out of line because he doesn't want Broly to unleash his magnificent power and kill a bunch of people. So in modern time, we get to see where uh, the Dragon Balls are in a frozen tundra, I believe is the right word, and Goku and Vegeta, the only two stars of Dragon Ball now because Gohan is... Nowhere to be seen, which is okay. And we finally get to see a showdown between Broly, Vegeta, and Goku. Now first up, Vegeta fights. Everything is fantastic. The animation looks amazing. And when I say the animation looks amazing, there's some nitpicks I have regarding the CGI. And I don't want to address those too much because they're just tiny things, but they are very noticeable. Now the story is pretty good. We get to see Bardock, Gine. Uh, King Vegeta, the Ginyu Force, Zarbon, Dodoria, Frieza, King Cold, it's a just a huge ensemble of old characters that we've known to grow in love. I mean, that we've known to grow in love, right? Is that the right word? It doesn't get better than Dragon Ball Z, I mean, uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly. We get to see a brand new animation style, which, if the budget were high enough for the TV show for Dragon Ball Super, I would have preferred to the max, because Dragon Ball Super as a whole looks very plasticky. And... The fights, to me, don't hold too much weight. And sure, you can make the argument that the animation definitely did go and rise in the end of the show. The Tournament of, the tournament of Power looks, if any anything, but ugly. And of course, you can say that when TV shows first start, the animation is a little choppy. And then, as the animators get to hone their style and techniques for however they draw the characters and set pieces and things like that, it looks way better. I think in terms of fight choreography and cinematography, this movie is unparalleled to anything we've seen before in the Dragon Ball universe, in terms of movies at least. The score is pretty good. There are two notable uh, songs in the OST, Prelude to a Comeback, which I love, as well as uh, Blizzard by Deaki. I don't know his last name. But this, this film, if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, or Dragon Ball fan, Dragon Ball GT fan, you are going to love this film, I feel like. If you have issues with Broly, which I'm sure a lot of fans do, then I can understand that, sure. But you can't tell me this film doesn't look amazing. And it is. So, yeah. With that being said, if you haven't seen Dragon Ball's... I, I want to keep saying Z. If you haven't seen Dragon Ball Super Broly... I would highly recommend you watch that movie because it's going to set up some hopeful uh, more arcs after the Mora arc gets finished in the anime, whenever that happens. Hopefully this year or next year, we I don't really know. But um, yeah, just go watch it, please. 